Weather conditions became so snowy around midnight that searchers had to stop their efforts looking for the missing plane. When daylight came up, dozens of members from local police and fire agencies were once again back in action. Using all-terrain vehicles, a drone, and a police helicopter, searchers headed into a steeply wooded area where the missing plane was suspected of going down. Around 10.30 a.m., the Chautauqua County Sheriff's Office confirmed the plane had been found with no survivors. The three crash victims were from northern Pennsylvania and included the pilot, his sister, and a family friend. They were identified as Alan Fuller, Valerie Holmes, and Linda Edwards. The plane was a twin-engine Grumman American GA-7, similar to the one in this picture. According to the FAA, it crashed approximately one mile east of the Chautauqua County Jamestown Airport. It had left Burlington, North Carolina around 3 p.m. and was supposed to land in Jamestown at 5.56 p.m. Sunday evening. Information posted on the website flightaware.com shows the small plane was making its final approach to the airport. The last data entry at 5.48 p.m. indicated the plane was descending just under 2,000 feet and traveling 105 miles per hour. While the cause is still unknown, people who live by the airport tell us a heavy snowfall with gusty winds and limited visibility was taking place when the plane went missing. It will now be up to the FAA and the National Transportation Safety Board to investigate this crash and make a determination of what caused the plane to go down one mile short of the runway. In Jamestown at Riley 7, Eyewitness News.